video I will show you how to build a free website using webstarts.com. Start by clicking sign up now it's free at webstarts.com. Next select a pre-designed website or choose the option to create a website from scratch. I'm going to choose a pre-designed site for this example. So I hit select. I now complete the sign up process. Choose a password. Okay, here's where I enter in my site title or choose to use a domain name for my account. A free account allows you to use what's called a Web Starts short URL. And so that's going to be webstarts.com forward slash and whatever name I choose to put in this box here. So for the sake of this demo, I'm going to put free dash website dash builder and then I'm going to click continue. And then I go to what's called the Web Starts My Account dashboard view. Here I can edit my web pages and do a number of other things with my site, but I'm just going to start by clicking the edit website uh, icon and that's going to load uh, the web starts page editor and allow me to begin making changes to the home page for the pre-designed site. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the business name area and then the pencil icon that's going to allow me to edit this text or retype this uh, text. Okay and then I can always relocate this text on my page. I can move it around, I can make it centered, I can bring it up or down or change the font style. I'm going to go ahead and change it to Georgia. Okay, and then down here I see that there's some preloaded text that kind of tells me some instructions of what I, what to do when building my free website. I don't feel like I need that, so I'm just going to delete it. And I'm going to save my changes up here by clicking save. And as you can see when I click save, my changes are already made live on the internet at webstarts.com forward slash free dash website dash builder and you see that resolves. So going back to my page editor view I now want to go ahead and add an image to my page so I'm going to upload an image from my local computer. I click browse and then I go ahead and locate uh, an image that I want to add to my website on my local computer. I'm going to add this Web Starts logo. It briefly uploads and then I can just double click on that logo and I can add that anywhere on my page. That's kind of a small picture but I could have added something larger. I can also choose to insert flash and video and a whole lot of other things but for the sake of this demo I'm going to also choose the search image option and what that does it allows you to search uh, the internet for images that you can also add to your web page so I'm going to find this nice looking lawn picture and uh, I'm going to find out that that lawn picture doesn't exist so try another one Okay, so here you can see my picture, which I can resize and I can place anywhere on my page. Now, if I want to add text to my page, I just click the Add Text icon in the toolbar that puts a text box on my page, which can then be resized, and then I can begin to type the text in the in the field provided. Now I've started typing and the text is black and it's hard to see on a charcoal background so I'm going to go ahead and change my text to white so you can see it and then I'm just going to continue And uh, once I have typed my text, I can once again change my font size, 
or I can change my font color, I can change the background color, so on and so forth. Again, I'm going to save my changes. I can um, move really every element of this page around. If I don't like the thing I moved, I just click Undo. And uh, once you're ready to publish your site, what you do is you click Add Domain Name, and there you'll be able to choose a domain name for your free website. So this could be like BillsLawnService.com or whatever site name you choose, .com or .org or .biz or whatever. Um, once you've cho chosen that, you click Check Availability if it's available, it'll tell you, and you can proceed all the way out to checkout. It requires you to upgrade to a pro account with WebStart, so at that point your site won't be free, but that will give you a professional business uh, presentation online, and you can see that. So anyway, that concludes how to build a free website using WebStart.